Hi, Ranch Fam. This is Jima. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. What I'm bringing you guys today are Dollar General 5 off of 25 scenarios for this Saturday, May the 22nd. This is video three of three. I uploaded yesterday two videos of five off of 25 scenarios. So, and what I, and I do use a lot of different products, okay? I don't do just all gain scenarios and all whatever you might, whatever it is. But if you don't see any of the products that you're looking for a scenario in this video that I do today, you wanna look back at video number one and video number two. Okay, um, some of the videos I'll have gain scenarios. Other videos I'll have tied scenarios. Um, they're all different. So you do need to go back and look at video number one and two if you don't see the products that you're looking for in this video that I bring you today. Also, if you're not able to get out to Dollar General this Saturday, I have some excellent deals you can do any day of the week. I uploaded two videos on those. One video is an all digital de uh, deal. Every scenario I have in that video are digitals. And the second video that I brought to you, every scenario in that video are zero out of pocket. Okay? Now, if you are looking or you need to know where a certain coupon came out of, a glitch coupon, a paper glitch coupon, if you need to know where that paper coupon came from, which insert, the date of that insert, and the expiration date of the coupon, if you can't see it on my video, you wanna refer to my updated glitch list that I brought to you guys on Wednesday. On there, I mentioned all the digital glitches, and I mentioned all paper glitches. And the paper glitches, I mentioned what insert it is from, the date that at that insert came out, and the date, uh, the expiration date of that coupon. Okay, so refer to my updated glitch list of this past Wednesday if you need information on any of the glitch coupons that I may use. At the time of me filming this video, which is video number three of three, all glitches are still working, digital and paper. Okay, let's go on ahead and get started with our first scenario. For this scenario here, we are going to purchase four of the Cottonelle wet wipes. These run 250 a piece, but when you purchase them in increments of two, they are two for $4.50. Okay, these are gonna run you two for $4.50, and we need four of them. We're gonna purchase two of the Camphophonique Cold Sore Relief Gel. These run $4. We're gonna purchase three of these Tylenol. They're up by the register uh, on the wire shelf. These run $2 a piece and we need three of them. And we're gonna purchase one Dulcolax. These run $2.50. Now, the major all of this is gonna be working with paper coupons. So if you have a paper five off of 25, you may wanna use it for this transaction, okay? If you don't have any paper five off of 25, because I do know that Dollar General wasn't printing them and still might not be printing them on your receipt in some areas, you, you and you need to use your digital five off of 25, then you would enter your number into the digital keypad at this time. But either way, whether you enter your number into the digital keypad or you give them a paper five off of 25, you're gonna have a five off of 25 come off. Then we are going to hand them five I'm sorry, four of these Cottonelle $1 paper coupons. This is glitching on the wet wipes. This is not on my updated glitch list of Wednesday, 
because I just tested this last night, okay? This is working on the wet wipes. So you're gonna hand over four of these $1 paper coupons. This $4 paper coupon is for the Campo Finique. This is also glitching, okay? Now we're purchasing two Campo Finiques. You do have to uh, present these coupons after each product. If you read on here, this is good on any two Campo Finiques. So if you put both Campo Finiques up there and hand these over at the end, only one coupon is gonna come off. So in order for this glitch coupon to work for each Campo Finique that you're purchasing, you have to do product, coupon, product, coupon, and you'll get both of the Campo Finiques for free. Again, this is another coupon that you need to do product, coupon, product, coupon. Then we're gonna hand over three of our $2 Tylenol. And one of our $3 Dulcolax. So let's go over that again. We're gonna purchase four Cottonelle wet wipes at two for 450, two Campo Finique product, coupon, product, coupon, at $4, three Tylenol at $2, and one Dokalax at $2.50. Either you're gonna enter your number into the digital keypad, or you're gonna hand over your five off of 25 at this time. Either way, $5 will come off for your five off of 25. Then we're gonna hand over four of our $1 Cottonelle paper coupons. We already did our Campo Finique because we did product coupon, product coupon. And then we're going to hand over three of our $2 Tylenol paper coupons and one of our $3 Dual Glax paper coupons. That gives us a total of $26 in coupons. $25.50 subtotal minus $26 in coupons gives us a negative 50 cents. This is a money maker, people. A money maker. 10 items our free plus a 50 cent money maker. There it is. All of this will be free. Just remember that the Campo Finique has to be done product coupon, product coupon. Now, you do need to ask the cashier to please not hit total until you are completely done with your transaction, okay? Because you're doing product coupon, product coupon. If they do not hit total, all of this is counted towards your $25 threshold, okay? And all you need to do is ask politely, could you please not hit total until I'm done with my transaction? And all of it is counted towards your $25 threshold. There it is for a screenshot. Here's the bottom portion. And all paper glitch coupons are being used in this scenario. Okay, I am using all paper glitch coupons. The Cottonelle are glitching on the wet wipes. Campo Finique is glitching on one coupon per product. The Tylenol $2 are glitching on the $2 little tubes of Tylenol. And the $3 Dulcolax is glitching on the one that runs $2.50. All of these are glitch coupons. Let's go on to our next scenario. For this scenario here, we are going to purchase one Ein's dry dog food 11 pound bag at $14.95. This is the 11 pound bag. We're going to purchase one Ein's cat food at $6.50. This did not have the pounds on it, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to guess it's three or four pounds. And these run $6.50. And we're going to purchase one Old Spice body wash at $4.50. We're going to enter our number into the digital keypad. 
and our 5 off of 25 will come off. Our $5 store coupon for spending $20 on these brands of pet food. And we are spending $20 on Imes Pet Food. So we get an extra $5 off for spending 20. And because this is a store coupon, we're gonna stack manufacturer coupons with it. Cause you can stack store coupons with manufacturer coupons. So again, five off of five dollars off for spending 20 is a store coupon. We're gonna use the $3 digital coupon for the dog food. We're gonna use the $3 digital coupon for the cat food. And we're gonna use the $5 Old Spice coupon, giving us 50 cents in overage. So let's go over that again. We're gonna purchase one Imes dog food at, uh, one Imes dog food, 11 pounds at $14.95, one Imes cat food at $6.50, one Old Spice body wash at $4.50. That gives us a subtotal of $25.95. We're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad and our five off of 25 will come off. Our five off of 20 store DQ will come off. Our IMS dog DQ, $3. IMS cat DQ, $3. And our Old Spice DQ, $5. That's a total of $21 in coupons. $25.95 minus $21 in coupons, gives us an out-of-pocket of $4.95, you guys. Excellent deal. Three items at $1.65 for each item, and it's an all-digital deal. You guys, $1.65 for dog food that is retailing at $14.95. $1.65 for cat food that runs $6.50. And $1.65 for Old Spice that would have costed $4.50 retail. Not a bad deal. It's all digitals. Now the Old Spice is a glitch coupon, but it is a digital glitch coupon. Okay. $25.95 subtotal. All digital coupons, $4.95 out of pocket, three items at $1.65 for each item. You can't go wrong for this brand of dog food and cat food. Let's go on to our next scenario. Before I go on to the next scenarios, I did mention that I am using some paper glitch coupons on some of these scenarios, and I'm also using some digital glitch coupons on some of these scenarios. A glitch coupon is a coupon that is intended for that brand, but may not be intended for that specific product and or size. When it comes to paper glitch coupons, if you have a coupon police as your cashier, you may not be able to take advantage of these glitches. If your Dollar General is like the ones that I shop at, mine accept any coupon that scans and up to five like coupons per transaction. When it comes to paper glitches, those are totally different from a paper coupon when it comes to using them at the register. A, paper, a digital, I'm sorry, a digital glitch coupon Cashiers have no control what comes off of your account once you enter your number into the digital keypad. So you go into the store, shop for your products, put them up to the register, let the cashier ring them up, enter your number into the digital keypad, and those coupons will come off for those products. Okay, these videos are for informational purposes only. What works for some of us may not work for others. Now, let's go on ahead and go to our next scenario. This scenario here, again, we're gonna purchase the Imes dog food, 11 pounds at $14.95. 
we're gonna purchase the Eims cat food at $6.50. We're gonna purchase five of the bear back and body. These are found down the dollar aisle and they are a dollar a box. We need five boxes. We're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad and our five off of 25 will come off. $5 for spending 20 store coupon for the pet food. $3 manufacturer coupon for the IMS dog food. Again, because pay, uh, store coupons do stack with manufacturer coupons, that's why we can use the five off of 20 because that's a store coupon. And we can also use a manufacturer coupon per product if we have them on our account. This is $3 for the dog food. $3 for the cat food will come off. And we're gonna hand over five of the $2 bear coupons. This is a glitch coupon. Now let's go over that again. We're gonna purchase one Iams dog food at 11 pounds for $14.95, one Iams cat food at $6.50, five bear back and body at $1. That gives us a subtotal of $26.45. We're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad and our five off of 25 will come off. Our five off of 20 store DQ, I'm's dog DQ $3, I'm's cat DQ $3, and we're gonna hand over five of the $2 bear paper coupons, which is $10 in, coupon, in savings. That gives us $26 in coupons. $26.45 minus $26 in coupons is 45 cents out of pocket, you guys. 45 cents, seven items, six cents for each item. Again, I'm using bear glitch coupons. We're gonna pay six cents for the Iams dog food that retails at $14.95, six cents for cat food that runs $6.50, and six cents per box of bear back and body that run a dollar a piece, okay? Now, the scenario that I gave you guys right before this was an all digital deal doing the dog food, which is an excellent scenario if you don't work with paper coupons or you cannot use glitch coupons in your area. That is an excellent all digital scenario that I gave to you guys right before this one. But for those of us that can use glitch coupons and up to five like coupons, we can also get the dog food and the cat food and pay 45 cents out of pocket. You guys, there's just so many great digitals and paper coupons. I hope you guys can benefit from some of my scenarios. And again, these are just to give you guys ideas on what we can do with coupons, okay? If for some reason, like you want the Iams dog food and you're like, you know what? I'd rather pay an extra $5 and get another bag of cat food, even though there's not a coupon out there or whatever it may be. Again, do what fits your scenario. I mean, do what's best for you, okay? I mean, the scenarios that I bring you, they're excellent to follow if you do the must clips that I bring every week. So you can have those digitals to work with or if you can work with the same paper coupons that I work with. But again, these are just to give you guys ideas, but I do know that a lot of you guys do follow my scenarios. Again, it's whatever works for you. Now let's go on to the next scenario. This here, we're gonna purchase five of the Gain dryer sheets. This is Island Fresh. And we're gonna purchase five of the Gain dryer sheets original. Now, I did say five Island Fresh and five original. Again, for scenario purposes, I just want you to know it works on both of these scents. But if they have 10 original and that's what you want, 
that is fine. If you want 10 Island Fresh, that's fine too. You could mix or match to get to your 10 boxes. These are the 34 count and they run $2 a piece. We need 10 boxes. Again, either Island Fresh or Original. It doesn't matter. We're gonna purchase two of the Febreze air freshener scented oil refills at $5 a piece. We need two of them. We're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad and our five off of 30 will come off. Once they subtract this, we're still at our $25 threshold, so we can also take advantage of our five off of 25. Our $5 Febreze coupon will come off. And then we're gonna hand over five of the $2 gain coupons. This is a glitch coupon. And we're gonna hand over five of the $1 gain, I'm sorry, gain coupons. Also a glitch coupon. We're gonna use five $2 coupons and five $1 coupons. So let's go over that again. We're gonna purchase 10 gain dryer sheets at $2 a piece and two Febreze oil refills. They must be gain scented. They have to be gain scent. Febreze is the brand, gain would be the scent, okay? We need two of them at $5. That gives us a subtotal of $30. Because our, we hit the $30, our five off of 30 gain will come off. And after they subtract that, we still meet our $25 threshold, so our five off of 25 will come off. Then our Febreze DQ of $5 will come off. Then we're going to hand over five of our $2 gain paper coupons and five of our $1 gain paper coupons, which gives us a total of $30 in coupons. $30 subtotal minus $30 in coupons is a zero out of pocket, you guys. Excellent deal. 12 items for free, and I am using the gain glitch coupons. This whole thing right here is free. We went from $30 all the way down to free. Can't beat that. And here's the rest of it. And I am using Gain Glitch coupons. Let's go on to our next scenario. Okay, before I get started on my last scenario for this video, there's a couple of things I want to clarify. Um, I have been getting some of these in, you know, in my comments for questions as questions. Um, when using digital coupons, you that coupon is only valid for a one-time use. Okay, so for example, if you have, um, again, this is just an example. If you have 25 cents off for a box of diapers and you purchase two boxes of diapers, only 25 cents will come off for one box. It doesn't multiply, the coupon does not multiply if you purchase more than one of those products, okay? Now, if sometimes Dollar General will offer you two of the exact same coupons, one's for $3 and one is for $1, okay? Let's say they are on the Playtex tampons. There's a $3 and a $1. Again, these are just examples. So you go and buy one box of the Playtex tampons for $5. The lower value coupon is going to come off. If you have a $3 and a $1 and they're both clipped, the $1 coupon is gonna come off first. Dollar General will always take the lower value coupon, if you have two of the same for the same product, they're gonna take the lower value coupon first. But if you have a $3 and a $1 and you wanna purchase two boxes of the Playtex tampons, then 
the $3 will come off of one box and the $1 will come off of the other box. Okay, now when I do my must clip video, sometimes you'll see that I clip a $3 always pads digital coupon, but I won't clip the $1. I always just clip the higher value if I catch myself and, you know, sometimes I'll get happy and clip them because I like them, whatever coupon it may be, not knowing that there's going to be a $3 coupon down the road, down, you know, the column or whatever it may be. So again, if you only have one digital coupon for one product, that's all it works for. Once you use that coupon, it's gone from that account. Okay. I just wanted to make that clear. Uh, because that has been a common question lately. And the next question that I want to answer is, if I have a digital manufacturer coupon for lotion, for Jergens of $1.50, and I also have a paper uh, coupon for Jergens of $1.50, can I stack those two coupons for one bottle of Jergens lotion? Okay. No, you can't because the digital coupon that you're looking at is a manufacturer coupon and the paper coupon that you're looking at is also a manufacturer coupon. So you, again, it's one coupon per product. Now, if you wanted to purchase two bottles of Jergens lotion, then you can use the digital coupon on one bottle and the paper coupon on the other bottle. Okay, now if it's a store coupon, yes, of course, you can, you can stack a store coupon with a manufacturer coupon, okay? And again, I don't want to get into too much, you know, detail about it, but I do want to clarify those for those of you that are asking and want to take advantage of Saturday's, you know, scenarios or whatever it may be. Um, but like I say, um, uh, Maybe that's something I need to bring in the near future is, you know, how to utilize coupons at Dollar General, Coupon 101. For those of you that are more advanced, I know, you know, you don't need to be hearing all this, but it's always good to just mention it. And, you know, so we can have, for those of you that are beginners, uh, catch up, you know, catch up to us so that we can keep bringing you these videos that use glitch coupons and all that good stuff. And also when it comes to glitch coupons, a, another question, I know I'm dragging this on you guys, but another question was, how do you, how come you don't have to give, you know, your five bear coupons, product, coupon, product, coupon, but you got to do that with your Glade or you got to do that with the Camphor Finique. Again, it's a glitch coupon. In order for it to glitch, some of them, you got to do product, coupon, product, coupon, or it won't glitch. Others, they're just glitching and you can give them to them at the end of your transaction. It all depends on the coupon and it all depends on what it takes to make that coupon glitch. Okay, so now we'll get on to our last scenario. Okay, for this scenario here, we're going to purchase two of these Pantene Miracle Moisture Boost. Two bottles, they run $3 a piece. It doesn't matter which bottles, you can mix or you can match. We need two bottles. We're gonna purchase two of the Colgate toothbrushes, three count at $2.75 a piece. We're gonna purchase one St. Ives body wash at $3. One Maybelline eye pencil at $3.25. two jars of the Prego pasta sauce, one box of the Barilla pasta, one Airwick oil warmer at $1.65, and one fruit roll-up for 25 cents. And the reason I'm using one fruit roll up is to get us to our $25 threshold. Okay. I was actually 
going to be shy by, I guess, like 20 cents to get us to our $25 threshold. So I threw in something that wasn't that expensive just to get us right over our $25 threshold so we could take advantage of our five off of 25. We just need one fruit roll up. We're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad and our five off of 25 will come off. $4 for the Pantene. $4 for the toothbrushes. $1.50 for the St. Ives. Yes, it does say face care, but it is glitching on the body wash. We are using some digital glitch coupons on this scenario. $2 for the Maybelline Eye Pencil, which leaves us a bet. The Eye Pencil was $3.25. $2 is going to come off with this manufacturer coupon. And $1.24 is going to come off with this store coupon, leaving us paying one cent for the eye pencil. And again, I was able to use two coupons for the Maybelline eye pencil because one was a manufacturer coupon and one was a store coupon. And then we're going to use this store coupon for the Prego uh, pasta sauce. $2.80 will come off of our subtotal. $1.50 for the Airwick. And let's go over that again. Okay, we're going to purchase two Pantene Miracle Moisture Boost at $3, two Colgate toothbrushes, three count at $2.75. One St. Ives body wash at $3, one Maybelline eye pencil at $3.25, two Prego pasta sauce at $2, one Barilla pasta at $1.40, one Airwick plug at $1.65, and one fruit roll up at 25 cents. That gives us a subtotal of $25.05. We're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad and our five off of 25 will come off. Pantene $4, Colgate $4, St. Ives $1.50, Maybelline Manufacture DQ $2, Maybelline Store DQ $1.24, Prego Store DQ $2.80, and Airwick DQ $1.50. That gives us $22.04 in coupons. $25.05 minus $22.04 gives us an out of pocket of $3.01. You guys, we're going to have 11 items at 27 cents for each item, and it's an all digital deal. You guys, we cannot go wrong. For those of you that don't use paper coupons, here's another excellent deal. Okay? Excellent digitals. And there it is. Okay, those are all the scenarios I have for this video. Again, this is video three of three. Um, on the other videos, I have tied scenarios. I've got diaper scenarios. I've got the Tide Simply Pods, the Purex. So if you didn't see a product in any of the scenarios of this video, like I say, you wanna go back and view video one and video two, because I do use a lot of different products in my scenarios okay some are all digital and like i say some may all be paper and some are paper and digital if you have any comments please leave them down below i enjoy reading your comments and i enjoy replying back also any questions leave them down below and i will answer them for you please give this video a big thumbs up and share with family and friends because I think we should all benefit from these great savings that I bring to you guys. This is Jima. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share this video, and we'll talk to you soon.